What's going on everybody? This is Ryan A. Polk and welcome to the wrap up and today I'm going to review Becky which stars Lulu Wilson, Kevin James, and Joe McHale. And this movie is about a girl played by Lulu Wilson and her father played by Joe McHale who go on this weekend getaway and they are terrorized by Kevin James and his crew who are escape prisoners. And they are in the middle of nowhere in this cabin so you already know that's a perfect area for a game of survival horror. And this movie, this movie was supposed to was supposed to show at the Tribeca Film Festival, but of course it got postponed because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But instead it got released in select drive-in theaters and also on video on demand. And we all know Kevin James as the funny guy, but in this movie he plays this neo-Nazi asshole. And he is 0% funny and 100% serious in this movie. And when I saw the trailer for this movie, I kept on thinking like, I mean, this okay, this is like a little low budget movie, except we got some A-list actors in this movie. And and even when I saw the movie, I kept on when I kept on thinking, I was like, yeah, you know, this this kind of reminds me of a TV movie, but it was it was actually it was actually good. It was pretty good. I mean, yes, it kind of reminds me of a TV movie, but it reminds me of a good TV movie. However, it is something I cannot see being played in theaters because I don't think it would sell well in the theaters. But it still made its way to select drive-in theaters. And Kevin James, he did he did a really good job playing a serious role in this movie. Because I love it when I see when I see funny people who play who play funny parts their like pretty much their whole career. And then they are and then, and then they show us that they can play serious roles. You know, let you know that, you know, hey, you know, you know, it's, you know, when it comes to when it comes to my acting skills, I can be more than funny. And Kevin James was one of those people who was able to show it. So and also um, Lulu Wilson and Joe McHale, they did good as well playing their parts. So this was a the casting. The casting choices were were good. And the storyline of this and then like when it came to the storyline, the flow of this movie, you know, it did start out kind of slow. But then, but then as we was watching it, you know, it, it did pick up. It did pick up kind of quick. And then we was, and then, you know, and we were, we, we kept on, we kept on, okay, you know, what's going to happen next? So we was, we got entertained kind of quick. And this, and when it comes to movies like this, you know, it, there's a, I mean, I'm not going to spoil anything because that's not what I do, but there is a lot of blood and gore in this movie and blood and gore is what sell and 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 survival horror movies and if you're a fan of of those type of movies of survival horror and like suspense thriller stuff like that then i think you will be entertained with this movie i mean this movie this movie is on the good list of movies for 2020 overall i mean it didn't it didn't suck and and then um this movie also because this, this movie also i do think that it's it is something that I don't even think you that I think that you wouldn't get you wouldn't get bored with probably I mean you may get bored in the beginning depending on you know d depending on you know how 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 you, how you view it and everything but at but then you'll also get entertained really quick because I mean the the blood and gore is what killed in the movie I'm is I'm, I'm gonna tell you that right now and I mean the acting was good and everything but yes like the blood and gore and then like the fight scenes that that they, they they were good too. And Kevin James, with with, with 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 the way how he did his character so well, I could see him getting a nomination for like the best villain award at the MTV Movie Awards if they was to do that category again. And Becky, Becky, you know, since it was playing in like drive-in theaters, you know, I mean, I've never been to a drive-in theater, and I know there's there's people who haven't been been to one, but. You know, if I was if I was to go out to the drive-in theater, since I'd ever been, and and if I saw this at a drive, and if I saw that this was playing at the drive-in theater, then I probably would have saw it. Yeah, I probably would have. And this, and which was also hard for me to, uh, that was also hard for me to think about whether or not if I would have saw this at a drive-in theater or if I would just would just saw it on demand. But Becky, but you know, Becky for for Becky's grade, which was it was also hard for me to grade too as well. For Becky's grade, I give it a I give it a B, 
and out of five stars, I give it three out of five stars. And I'm, I'm gonna just say this on whether or not if you should go see it or not, you know, because I mean, well, we can't see it right now because you know it's not in theaters, but it's in select drive-in theaters only. So if if you have a drive-in theater in your city, then I would say then I would say go see it. You know, especially and if you never even even if you never even especially and even if you never even been to a drive-in theater, then and if you do have one in your city, then yeah, you know, go check it out. And if you don't have a drive-in theater in your city, then I do think that you should yeah you should check it out on demand because because Becky it is you know it is a good movie and it is entertaining you know and I and I do think that that overall you know you will you will enjoy watching it. And until then, this is Ryan A. Polk with the wrap up. And also, if you and also feel free to comment below on on what you thought about this video, or if you've seen the movie, feel free to comment on what you thought about the movie. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you if if you if you do want to see more reviews from me, hit subscribe.